Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, I explained how to use the uniform buffers to create a 3D cube. In this video, I will show you how to animate that cube and how to use your mouse to interact with the cube. For animation, we will use the JavaScript request animation frame method. This method can make changes to your screen in an efficient manner. Here is an example to use the request animation frame method. You can see we loop over and over again using recursion. Here we first get the DOM element in the UI and define the start number of the zero, number equal to zero. Next, we create a count function, here count function, that increases the number by one, and then set it as the text content to the counter. Inside this function, we call request animation frame, and pass the count function itself as the callback function. This causes it to run again just before the next repaint. Finally, we use the request animation frame to start the animation. For using mouse to interact with the cube, we use the NPM package called 3D View Controls. This package can be used to control camera with your mouse. For example, use your left mouse button to rotate the object. Use the right mouse button to pan, that is, translate the object. Use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out the object. Then we can use this, uh, your mouse, to interact with uh, the object by control the camera. Again, we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download all the source code used in the last video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command. Git clone and paste this link. This will generate a web GPU 10 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the source code used in the last video. Now. We want to, to change the name of WebGPU 10 folder to GPU 11. Rename WebGPU 11 and CD into it. At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is a Visual Studio Code interface. Okay, we can close this work on page. Here contains all the source code used in the last video. Now open a new terminal window and use the npm install command to restore the npm package. This installation may take a while to finish. Please be patient. Okay, finished. Our installed package are stored in this uh, node modules folder. Now we need to install a new npm package. npm install 3d view controls. We will use this package to interact with the cube with the mouse. Okay, installation is finished. Now let's make some change to the index .html file from this dist folder open this file first we need to change this here the 10 to 11 because this is 11th video series next we change the h1 title to animation and uh, camera control here we also need to add two uh, video button one part in for the animation, another is for the camera control. 
which allows you to select whether you want to animate the cube or use your mouse to interact with the cube. Here we also keep the canvas element and uh, define ID equals to canvas web GPU. Now we can save this file. The serial code used in this example is the same as that used in the last video. From this SRGC folder, you can see seeder.ts. Here contains new WGSL seeder format. You can see we define input argument here and the output structure here. And the same for the fragment seeder. Also, we use the V color as the input argument. Here is the old code. Uh, right now, we can remove this old code because we don't use it. So, just remove it. Now, we can save this file and close it. Next, from SRC folder, open the hyper.ts file here. Here, we need to add a new method called create animation. You can see here we have create animation methods. Here the draw argument is a callback function. Here we want to animate the rotation around x, y, and z axis. Use this step function. The create animation has an argument called is animation. Here we set it to true by default. This parameter controls whether we want to animate the object or not. Now we can save this file and close it. Save this file, close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the main.ts file from this src folder open main.ts file. First, we need to introduce the create animation method from hyper.ts file animation methods. Next, we need to introduce jQuery import. And we also need to define the camera const from new 3D view controls package. Here we use the require instead of import. This is because the 3D view controls package was created using the old school module approach, that is, modules.exports. So here we have to use the require. In the create 3D object, here we need to add an input parameter called is animation, and set its default value to true. The initialization and the pipeline code is the same as the previous example. But here, create uniform data, we need to define a new matrix, view matrix, v matrix equal to mat for create. This is a view matrix. Uh, next, we also need to add a rotation and a camera. The rotation just the vector three and variable. Here you can see the vector three is an error, so we need to introduce this vector three module from the GL matrix. Okay, we don't need to make any changes to the code for the create a uniform buffer binding group and the render pass description. Next, we need to create a callback function named draw for animation. So here we need to replace this part of the code by a callback function. Here, oh, here has an arrow. Cannot assign to texture of you because it is a constant or we define as a constant. We have to change to the variable here. We need to use the light. Okay, so no error anymore here. You can see here, if animation is false, then we use the camera. You can see here, the view matrix is directly from the camera matrix. This means we use a camera to construct the view matrix, and then multiply it with the projection matrix to form view projection matrix. 
that is VP matrix. The rest of the drawing method is the same as that we used in the last video. Here we start animation by calling the create animation methods. Finally, we need to add some video burden selection here. So from here, the video value equal to animation here we define is animation parameter to true. Otherwise, we set it the false. This means we use the camera control. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file. We can save it right now. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window npm run prod to bound our code. Okay, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click this go live link to open Chrome Canary to view our cube. You can see the animated cube on this page. It rotates continuously. Now we can click on this camera control uh, video button. So we can use your left mouse button to rotate this cube and use the right mouse button to move around the cube. We can also use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out the cube. This camera control lets you easily interact with the cube. Now we have completed this example. We have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video. I will post the link for the source code below this video. You can click the link to download the source code. I will end this video here. In next video, I will show you how to create a 3D cube with different what has colors. See you next time. Bye.